Hey, this is Daniel from Mataran Pro. Today on set, we're gonna talk about shooting simple product photography. This setup I'm gonna show you today will work for the vast majority of products you wanna photograph. It's really fast to set up, and it gives you a nice looking image right out of the box. We don't have to do a lot of work to it after the fact. I'm just gonna run through my setup here and we'll take a few pictures. So I've got my camera set up here with just a 50 millimeter lens on it. You can use whatever you need to frame up the shot that you want. On top, I have a pocket wizard, which is a radio. It's gonna allow me to fire it. You can see here I have my strobe head, which is a Profoto Acute head, shooting down through a Westcott diffuser. The point of this is you want this large light source to be on top of your product to just give a sweeping light with very, very simple basic shadow. And if you'll notice, the light is towards the back of my setup. That way, when the light comes through, if let's say I was using a white background especially, it will make the white brighter because it's closer to the light source. So this also gives you what's called a drop shadow, which is just the tiniest little bit of shadow in the front, which gives you a nice three dimensionality to your image. So I'm just on a regular table here with my product set up. I'll show you my power pack over here. So this here is a Profoto Acute 2400 watt second power pack. When you're doing product photography, that's one of those times where you want a lot of power. A lot of times people ask me, you know, how many watt seconds? If you're doing product photography, if that's your thing, you want a decent amount of power because you're gonna be shooting F11, F16, F22 all the time because you're close to these items. So I've got a pocket wizard hooked up to this. Let me show you how I'm hanging my light in the back. So this is a Matthew C stand with a standard arm. Got a sandbag over the leg over here. And I'm simply projecting my, my head out onto it. And you'll notice on the head, I have a little pin coming out. That's a 650 pin from Avenger. You wanna, if you're gonna put a head onto a C-stand, that's how you wanna do it. You don't put the head on this end, that would be wrong. Let's go around here. Here I'm using an Avenger C-stand with, with two arms, a Matthews arm and, and then an Avenger arm, just basically to support my diffusion out so it's nice and even over the top of my product. So let's take a look at the camera. So when I'm doing this type of product photography, I like to shoot, again, a decent amount of power. I'm at F10 here, I'm gonna put it in live view for a second. So I always use live view so I can do my focus, but if you notice, I'm 200th of a second at F10, I can't see anything because the live view is based on the ambient exposure. So I'm just gonna dial down my shutter speed so I can see my composition. That looks pretty good. Now you gotta remember to put it back, otherwise that's gonna affect it. So I'm gonna go back to 200 after I get my focus, which I did before we started. I'm back up to 200. This is killing all the light in the room. Take it off a of live view and then make a photo. And there you go. Nice, evenly lit photo, no reflections, no glare. You will notice because I was sitting here talking in the video that I'm actually in the reflection of the sunglasses. So what I'm gonna do when I actually shoot this, which is now I'm gonna just keep myself lower so that I'm out of the shot. So like I said, this setup works with a lot of different items. So let me shoot a bunch of stuff and show you what they look like. So there you go with a really simple setup. And again, you could use a pro photo head like I'm using, you could use a speed light. The concept is the same. Big light source above and slightly behind wrapping around your product to make really simple product shots. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time on set.